Hello and welcome to another Boogie Bow, how to play something. And uh, the something today is in the key of C minor. You're probably already thinking, uh oh, yeah. The uh, view will change here. So I have a little score and the first thing you notice is three flats. Well, you might be familiar enough to know that key of E flat, there's an E flat chord. There's the notes of E flat, but that also is the key of C minor. So in other words, if you don't know your notes of C minor, it's the same as the notes in E flat. <laughs> So if you look at measure one, the first five notes you can play with, I would just, you know, diddle around with those notes. Now the other run I have here, you can see that I'm skipping the A flat. makes it work out a little nicer and uh, so you practice those a bunch that little run and you can start to really mix it up all kinds of ways there so now let's go and shift and look at the left hand here First chord is a C minor. I call it C minor seven, but let's just stick on a C minor here. Then the little pinky for the next measure moves down to what B. Then we go down to B flat. And we keep doing that dissension. And uh, the next one here, of course, is down to A. Then to A flat, then to a G, then we kind of switch things up. I call this an F7, that right there, F, G, E flat. Then we play a G7, and that leads us the five chord back to our C minor, and we repeat. So you probably want to uh, write those chords down again. I'll hold it up here for a second. You have a C minor. Then you have a C minor over B, C minor over B flat. What? C minor over A, C minor over A flat, C minor over G. Finally, the F7 and then a G7. So with that, let's play just, remember I showed you those first five notes, you can go. So that's a good starting point. All I'm doing in the right hand is playing those same five notes. And you can hear that they sound good over all those chords, slash chords, I should say. So we'll play a little something a little different. Instead of the chord, we'll play like that. We play the first. That's one way to do it. Notice I kind of stick that, hold that sometimes. I can if you want anyway. Don't have to. So 
So in the right hand, you could do something like this. was very simple. It sounds pretty nice. So you notice I'm not really doing a whole measure. I'm pretty much doing like, uh, I guess you call it 2-4 time, half time. So you might recognize that and if you had to do a little bridge, you could cut out one of the chords, is what I'm thinking. So I'm starting here with C, then I jump down to B flat, then to A flat. So you can come up with all flavors in this type of progression where you do start out with a minor and drop that slash descending. That sequence in a bunch of different keys is used in hundreds of songs, yep, thousands I should say. So I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. and. Uh, Just a few notes in the right hand makes a pretty familiar little song, I guess. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on YouTube.